first let's just look at the, what's the scarcest resource we probably need in our society today. It's great leaders. I mean, look at the political process that we're going through right now. If there's any evidence that we're hurting for leadership, <laughs> you see it in government, you see it in businesses. There aren't that many great leaders. Now, so then the presupposition for a lot of people would be then, well, it must be this innate talent. Um, if there are people that are born and upread, you may be born with more certainty, like people are willing to take more risks. There certainly are people of that nature. But anyone can be a leader in something that they decide to become masterful in. You can be the leader of your own life. Everyone should lead their own life. You should be the leader of your family. And so I think everyone can be a leader, but there are different types and different styles of leadership. And I believe that leadership is a skill. It starts with having something that you're committed to that's larger than yourself, a vision that's bigger than yourself. If there's a large enough vision, if you have enough passion for that vision, then you're gonna have enough drive to actually start to execute. And then leadership is the capacity to discipline your disappointment because you're gonna to have to go through failures and instead of making failures, you have to learn from those. And then it comes down to the skill of influence once again. And so anyone can learn, anyone can develop a vision, anyone can uncover their passion, anyone can learn to influence. That's a skill that can be learned. So yes, leadership can be taught and leadership can be learned. Can everyone be a leader? The answer is yes, because there's so many different things to lead in. And it's not a, a situation like you have to follow me for you to lead. I just have to know what it is I truly stand for.